To win the lottery, you need a lottery calculator that will help you make an intelligent decision. It would help if you had a tool that will allow you to see all the possible options and finally help you make the right choice. Unfortunately, using a simple lottery wheel doesn't cut. Calculators for the lottery are not created equally. So what is the best calculator for the lottery? It's the calculator that is based on proven principles of combinatorial mathematics and probability theory. To help you understand, let me show you why some calculators don't work and what you should be using. The wrong application of statistics. For centuries, most lotto players believe that statistical analysis could help because they think that the past results will give them a clue on what numbers to pick. This belief must be corrected once and for all. We only apply statistics when something is unknown, so we use a sample set to make some calculations. If you apply statistics in the lottery, the results proved inaccurate, especially when a sample set is not large enough to make any conclusive estimation. Truth be told, you don't need statistics to determine the best lotto combinations. Why? Because the lottery has a finite structure that requires logical analysis rather than statistical. When a finite quantity of numbers is involved, we have adequate knowledge of the composition of the whole population. In other words, in the lottery, a sample dataset is not necessary. For example, we know that there are 19 even numbers and 20 odd numbers in the 539th lotto game. We know that a 570th game is composed of 35 low numbers and 35 high numbers. Based on our existing knowledge of the lotto game, any question is, therefore, a probability and combinatorial problem to solve. That's what the Lottery Codex calculator does for you exactly. It calculates all the possible choices in a lotto game and finally separates the best and the worst group using combinatorics and probability theory. Let me give you a little bit of an intro to how this mathematical duo works in the lottery. Numbers and combinations are not the same words. Each number is equally likely. It means that there are no hot or cold numbers. If you believe that those numbers that occur more frequently are bound to happen more often in the future, then you're not helping yourself. Building your playing strategy based on the frequency of each number is mathematically flawed. For example, if you pick one ball from a bowl of 49 numbers, each number has a 1 49th probability of getting drawn. If we do the experiment many times over, all numbers converge in the same frequency. This probability concept has been proven over and over in the long history of the lottery. For example, the Canada Lotto 6 49th game from 1982 to 2018 shows that the lottery has no bias over certain numbers as lotto draws continue to get larger and larger. And the same probability principle applies to all lottery systems. Whether you're playing the Mega Millions, or Powerball, or Fantasy V, or the Set for Life game, the results are bound to follow the dictate of the probability theory. The fact is that numbers and combinations are two different terms. A number refers to the individual ball in the lottery, while a combination refers to how you put numbers together in a certain way. And combinations are not created equally. Like numbers, all combinations have equal probability because there is only one way to win the jackpot. Theoretically, a straight sequential combination such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is equally likely. The same probability holds for 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 0, 1, 2 or 5, 1, 0, 1, 5, 2, 0, 2, 5, 3, 0. But if someone asks you, will you spend your money on those combinations? Probably not because you don't feel it. That's how the gut feeling takes over logical reasoning. But why? Why worry when you believe your math is right? But for some folk, they are ready to give up their math when the gut feeling is much stronger. You see, the gut feeling doesn't add up. You have to put your trust in a mathematical strategy. Now, if combinations have the same probability, how come they are not created equally? The answer lies in the fact that there's a huge difference between odds and probability. If you want to play the lottery with the best shot possible, you must understand that odds and probability are two different terms. Odds and probability are not mathematically equivalent. While probability is a measurement of likelihood, odds refer to the ratio of success to failure. In other words, 
when we talk about our chance of winning, the underlying probability never changes. But that doesn't mean you have no control over your choice because you can always choose to be wrong less. To be wrong less, you need to understand the odds of your combinations. When we talk about odds, we're talking about the ratio of success to failure. As a lotto player, you want to make sure that you have a better advantage by choosing a better ratio of success to failure. This is how we use math to make intelligent decisions. Remember that a true mathematical strategy helps you calculate all the possibilities and then make the right choice. You want to make sure that you are not mathematically wrong for the majority of the time. Let me explain the difference between odds and probability from the context of combinatorial groups or patterns. A combination carries certain characteristics depending on its composition. So while all combinations may have the same probability, you also have to look at the concept of combinatorial groups. Combinations that share the same composition can be put together into combinatorial groups. And combinatorial groups don't have equal probability. The following lotto lines show examples of how combinations may differ in characteristics. 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6 has two sets of consecutive numbers. If you notice, the numbers are picked from only two groups. The numbers are from 1's group and 30's group. 5, 6, 3, 9, 4, 0, 4, 6, 4, 7 has three sets of consecutive numbers. Also, notice that the 10's group and 20's group are not represented. 7, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 8, 4, 1, 4, 6 has no consecutive numbers, and all number groups are represented. You pick the wrong composition, and you already lose even before the draw begins. For example, in a lotto 6 49ths game, a 6 even 0 odd combinatorial pattern has a 0.00963 probability. A 3 odds 3 even combinatorial pattern, on the other hand, has a 0.333 probability. The difference is so simple. A 6 even 0 odd combination will give you the odds of 1 to 134,595 in favor of winning the jackpot but this favorable advantage comes only once every 100 draws. So if you play 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 0, 1, 2, expect that out of 100 attempts you play the lotto, you get only one opportunity to match the winning numbers. In comparison, there are 4,655,200 ways to combine numbers with a 3-odd-3 three three even pattern. If you play the 3-odd-3 three three even pattern, then out of 100 attempts, you get 33 opportunities to match the winning numbers. In other words, a 6 even 0 odd combinatorial pattern has the worst ratio, while a more balanced 3 odds 3 even composition gets the best ratio of success to failure. That's the basic idea of a mathematical strategy. You cannot change the underlying probability. You cannot beat the odds. But, you have the power to choose a combination with a better ratio of success to failure. While you cannot predict the next winning combinations, you can use mathematics to make an intelligent decision for the majority of the draws. For more information, visit LotteryCodex.com.